everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, we are going to be doing some fall freezer meals. So I know that it is technically still summer, but to me, fall starts at the beginning of the school year. So I thought I would take some time to fill my freezer up with some really good meals that I can either pass along to my college kids or just keep for those nights I just don't feel like cooking. So today I'm going to be sharing with you about five recipes that are tried and true in my house, family favorites, and are really easy to make. Two of those meals we start off in the crock pot, so this could not be any easier. So to get the party started, I'm going to have both of my crock pots going. In this crock pot, I am going to be making Hawaiian chicken. So I have about three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's well seasoned with salt and pepper and Mrs. Dash. And to it, I'm going to add two red bell peppers, a medium sized chopped onion, and about four cloves of garlic. And then I'm gonna to mix together a 12 ounce bottle of chili sauce, a third of a cup of brown sugar, and at least two small cans of crushed pineapple. All the recipes that I'm going to do today are going to be in the information bar below. Mix all the ingredients well in the crock pot, set on high, and cook between four and five hours. So in this second crock pot, we are going to be making some chicken chili, and inside I just have about two pounds of boneless chicken breast, seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and Mrs. Dash, and to this I am going to add about three cloves of crushed garlic and one chopped onion. Next, add two 14 ounce cans of chicken broth, one 14 ounce can of corn, one can of green chilies, some chili powder, cumin, red pepper, oregano, and cilantro. Mix it all together, set it on high, and cook for four hours. To plan a freezer meal cooking day, go through all your recipes and pick those meals that are similar with their ingredients so that you can do all the chopping at once and be able to purchase larger sizes of ingredients to save yourself a little bit of money. Today's recipes are mostly chicken based, so I was able to purchase a larger quantity at a better price to save some money. So next up we are going to be making ravioli lasagna. To make the sauce we are starting out with browning some sweet Italian sausage. I always get asked about this chop turner that I use when I brown meat. So I'm going to leave a link down below to my Amazon page where you will find this and many of my other favorite kitchen products under the My Bashful Life Kitchen. To this we are adding some finely minced onion, zucchini, and green pepper. I like to use a small Cuisinart to do this. It really helps the veggies melt into the sauce. I add about a quarter of a cup of white wine and a 28 ounce can of tomato puree and a 28 ounce can of tomato sauce. Or you can also just add a large jar of store-bought spaghetti sauce. To finish up the sauce, I add a few shakes of Worcestershire sauce, some dried parsley, oregano, basil, red pepper flakes, a little bit of sugar, garlic powder, and some Romano cheese. Let the sauce cook for about a half hour and cool a bit before you start to assemble. So once the sauce has cooled down a bit, you can begin to assemble the ravioli lasagna. This recipe really couldn't be any easier. You're going to be using two bags of frozen cheese ravioli and two bags of Italian blend shredded cheese. Start by putting a little bit of sauce in the pan and begin lining up your raviolis. Add a little bit more sauce and some shredded Italian cheese and repeat layers until you have three. Top everything off with the remainder of your Italian shredded cheese, sprinkle a little parsley on top, and cover with a couple layers of aluminum foil. Spray the first layer of aluminum foil with some non-stick cooking spray to keep the casserole from sticking during baking. 
At this point, you can put both trays right into the freezer or you can bake at 375 for about 35 or 40 minutes. So back to our Hawaiian chicken. It has been about four and a half hours and we are going to remove the chicken from the crock pot to shred. But first we're going to add a slurry of one tablespoon of cornstarch to one tablespoon of water. Mix it all up and pour it back in the crock pot. This is going to help the sauce thicken up a bit. Once the chicken is all shredded, put it all back in the crock pot and cook for another 20 minutes on high and then it is done. This meal is really great, served over rice and some broccoli. And now back to the chicken chili. We are going to be removing the chicken from the crock pot to shred. And then we're going to be adding a slurry of cornstarch and water, a quarter cup of half and half, and about four ounces of softened cream cheese. Mix everything really well and add back the shredded chicken and cook for about another 20 minutes. This chili is excellent with a little bit of sour cream and guacamole and a side of tortilla chips. Next we are going to be making creamy spinach and chicken casserole. What you will need is frozen spinach, penne pasta, sour cream, half and half, ranch mix, Italian shredded cheese, cream cheese, salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and some shredded chicken. Start by boiling your pasta according to package directions. Then in a large bowl, what you're going to add is about a cup of sour cream, four ounces of cream cheese, a fourth of a cup of half and half, the ranch dressing, and about seven or so ounces of the frozen thawed spinach. Mix that all up really well. Now you're going to add your shredded chicken and about three-fourths of your penne pasta and about a cup of shredded cheese. Season with salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder, then transfer into your prepared tins. Top each with some shredded Italian cheese, cover with a couple layers of aluminum foil, and these are ready to go right into the freezer, or you can put in the oven at 375 for 35 to 40 minutes. So the last meal we are making today is chicken pot pie. And what you're going to need is some Pillsbury pie crust, frozen mixed vegetables, some chicken broth, whole milk, some shredded chicken, flour, onion and celery, and salt and pepper, and garlic powder. Add about a third of a cup of butter to your pan and saute your onions and celery until they are soft. Add your flour and mix really well, making a roux. Cook for about another minute and then slowly add your chicken broth and milk. Once this has thickened up, you can add your shredded chicken, frozen mixed vegetables, and season with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Lay out one of your pie crusts to roll and fit to your pie pan. Fill the pan with the chicken and vegetable mixture and cover with another pie crust. At this point, you can cover this whole thing up with tin foil and put in the freezer to bake at another time. Or if you're like us, this is what we want to have for dinner tonight. So I brushed the top with a little beaten egg and made several slits and I'm going to bake it in a 375 degree oven for 45 minutes. So I wanted to give you a quick look here in the end of what my kitchen looks like after a day of freezer cooking. You know, I try to clean as I go, but obviously something fell apart towards the end. I think the mess was well worth it. I was able to fill my freezer up with nine meals. I have a delicious dinner for tonight and I have extras to share with my college kids. So thank you so much for watching today. I will have the recipes and the information bar down below along with my Amazon page where you will find some of my favorite cooking products under the section, My Bashful Kitchen.
Please don't forget to subscribe and until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have and I will see you again soon. Bye!